this teaching is the rock of our salvation. And when I started looking into this, I found that you know rocks are very intriguing. And I know that that sounds strange when you think of it in the context of, of your typical rock. But rocks seem to be what motivates the world. And if you look at it, jewels and precious metals, they seem to make the world go round. And they're all found within the rocks. Uh, diamonds, sapphires, rubies and emeralds, gold, silver and copper is all found inside of rock. The mines for these gems and precious metals go deep within the rock before they find, find the veins of gold or copper or silver and before they find the pockets of the jewels. These are all found within the rocks. And rocks over time have been given, uh, in some cultures, given a the life-giving properties, or even in some cases a spiritual or mystical properties. And one theory in evolution, it's called the primordial soup. And it's believed that the earth was a rock, a solid mass, and it rained for a million years and caused the, the, the rain on top of the rocks and the water mixture created a thick soup of uh, different amoebas and weird life sources. Mm -hmm. And in the theory of evolution, it's believed that this was where life began, was in this primordial soup that came from water and rocks. There's not a lot of evolutionary theorists who believe in this method, because if they do, then they have to condone that there was a flood. So they stay away from a flood theory, because that would point to a biblical account of some sort. So there's not a lot of them that you'll find that will stand on this one, but it is part of the, the evolutionary process that they believe that the rocks contained the elements that the water was the life-giving source and life was all given from the rocks, which is a little bit out there. They say we're out there, but yet they believe life came from mud. We know that life came from mud. Uh, there are many mystics who believe that rocks themselves have mystical properties. Now, science has proven that uh, paranormal, what's known as paranormal events can actually come from rocks. It can be attributed to rocks, uh, specifically limestone quartz and magnetite. They're believed to actually store images and sound. And even if... Uh, they, they'll record in a specific event that has some sort of emotional attachment. Um, and what people would refer to as a haunting or a paranormal event is actually just an event that's been recorded into the rock and something has happened, circumstances have happened, to where now the earth is replaying it. Uh, for instance, uh, in Tombstone, Arizona, Tombstone is built on top of miles and miles of copper mines and there's still a lot of copper in the ground we know that copper is a probably the best conductor of electricity tombstone is also known for its violent thunderstorms and lightning storms there have been people who have wit who have witnessed standing in the streets of tombstone the events of the ok corral being played out doc holiday wyatt Earp, the clantons the whole nine yards being played out right in front of them said it was a haunting in actuality what it probably was, was the lightning charged the rocks. The rocks gave forth whatever information it had recorded, being the shootout at the OK Corral, being all the emotions and death that went into that event. There was another event with a woman. Uh, she lived in along the Mississippi River. They say the Mississippi River, with the limestone bed that the Mississippi has, contains an electromagnetic field. On the third floor of a house, this woman is seen going through her house, and wearing a black dress, closing all the windows. The history of that house says that the woman, on the last day in that house, right after the Civil War, went through, wore a black dress, and closed every window in her house, and then left. Very emotional experience for somebody who lived in this house for 80-some years. The electromagnetic field that's coming from the positively charged rocks and the water and the Mississippi River 
flows over the uh, uh, what they call the uh, uh, levee, hits the levee, and the only thing in the path of that trajectory is the third floor of that house, the same window where they see the woman closing the window and walking away. The house or the electromagnetic field has maintained that emotional event and keeps replaying it over and over and over again. So rocks can scientifically uh, hold information. We know that in the, the teaching that I did, uh, 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 mankind's relationship with the earth, that God said that the earth would testify against us. Yeah. This very well could be how. Yeah. The earth itself, mostly limestone, will maintain yeah. a record of the events that have happened on the earth. Right. Traumatic right. events. Right. So, yeah. when the Lord wants the information, the earth is going to yield it up to him however he wants. <laughs> it's yeah. possible. Yeah, that's possible. It's mind blowing as it is. It's, it's a stretch, but <laughs> yeah. it's possible. Yeah, oh yeah. And the world in itself has also put a lot of historical value in rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, rocks have been known to be landmarks. Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts, where the Mayflower landed. Mount Rushmore. They believe Mount Rushmore was actually a Mayan city before they actually carved the president's heads in it. <laughs> but underneath the mountain is actually a city underneath it. They also, uh, the old man of in New Hampshire, the old man in the mountain, which if you've got a New Hampshire quarter, the old man in the mountain is on the back of it, they don't believe that that was by accident. They give that a mystical credit. And there's many, many more. The Rock of Gibraltar, which is on the, the, the area of the Gibraltar Strait, which goes into the Mediterranean, was the most sought-after rock in all the world during the times of the pirates because if you had Gibraltar, you controlled the Mediterranean. It was a very, uh, it was sought after. Uh, the uh, Blarney Stone in Ireland. It's believed if you kiss the Blarney Stone or touch the Blarney Stone, that the Blarney Stone will bring you luck, which is just a rock face. Muco Picchu in Peru. It was a city that was built out of a mountain, the top of a mountain. It's been given credit to have mystical properties. Uh, Kaaba, which is in Saudi Arabia or Mecca, is one of the world's most historical rocks in the Middle East. It is where thousands upon thousands of migrants will go there just to kiss or touch the rock. That 